Our next presenter is, uh, is Jan Sterling. Uh, Jan Sterling has had an extremely successful career in coaching in the WNBL in Australia. Uh, an even more successful career in coaching the Opals. She's a FIBA Hall of Famer. She coached the Opals to a gold medal win in the 2006 World Cup. She's won silver medals at uh, consecutive Olympic Games. Currently is Australia's uh, high performance director for, uh, for Basketball Australia. Has been a massive contributor to, uh, to female basketball in Australia and basketball generally in Australia. Would you please welcome Coach Jan Sterling. And Jan's going to talk about some progression and builds up in, in drills. Thanks. Thanks, Patrick. Look, one of the things I think we all want as coaches is how can we, you know, watch a drill and think, oh, if we added that, that might help a little bit. So um, I thought today I'd just cover off on a few drills that uh, have been done over time and, and you'll have your own concepts with them. Um, I like to have drills that are relative to game experience, but I think also as coaches we've got to give the athletes trial and error experience as well so they can see some success in developing a skill set package. Um, so the first drill, um, can I have um, four girls, four, four blacks and four whites please, just across the centre line with a ball facing this basket. I will be doing some cool, full court work as well. So one ball, four whites in offence and four, four on D in, in black. Okay, now you've all, you, we've all done the, you know, I've seen repetitive um, videos of the four on four shield drill. So this is just an extension of that to some concept. So offence, you're going to be attacking that basket. Offence, any one player can only have a maximum of two dribbles at a time. Maximum of two at a time. What are we looking at there? Okay, purposeful dribble. What are you doing with your dribble? Can you get to the basket from the three-point line in two dribbles? All of these girls can get to the basket from the three-point line in one dribble if they drive direct. All right, so defense, you're playing normal D. Offense, you're playing offense as you see fit to score a basket. Okay, but only a maximum of two dribbles. You can cut and replace, there are no on-ball screens. No on-balls. So can you cut, and coaches have talked about it, can you make a sacrifice cut to create space for someone behind you? All right, can you pass and screen away? Can you screen and flash? All right? Do a handoff? Is a handoff like a screen or is that okay? Can you do a handoff? Yeah. Can we do a handoff? Don't want any on-balls, so for now, no handoffs. Oh, God, can you make it any harder, Jan? Okay, let's go. Play. Let's see what we've got. Nice cut. Oh, two. Up. Okay, game over. Three dribbles. Move out. What did we see? Did we, what did we notice on a flash cut here from this side? Any coaches notice something on a flash cut that came from this side of the floor? I did. One, she was open. Two, the offensive player dropped her head and started to dribble without peripheral vision to see her being open. So as these girls play, you guys have a look and see what you see. Okay, because if we don't see it, how are we going to critique it to help them to see it and recognise it? Okay, we switched over. Okay, here we go. Good screen. Bad luck. All right, good job. Switch over again. Where's the talk on D? Good. Okay. Good. Okay. Everyone noticed something here. What's your name? Me? Georgia. Georgia. Georgia did a really good thing here. She saw her teammate shoot and got her feet in the key. How often do we watch weak side players just watch and don't get in the key on a rebounding play? Again, we're just critiquing this now. Okay, now you can do your handoff. Dribble handoffs are allowed. Okay, let's go, D. Still a maximum of two dribbles. Whoops, to travel, good. Movement. Ten, nine. Okay, good. Okay, one more offense each. Dribble handoffs are allowed. Pass, cut, place. Good 
job. Okay, just go back to where you were under the basket on the block out, ball was over here, ball was over here on the shot. Okay, hold it there. Did anyone know, what's your name? Kate. Kate. Did anyone notice what Kate did on the airtime of that shot? Anyone notice what she did? She went back and physically found her offensive player on the block out. That needs to be rewarded. Well done, Kate. You went and found her. You got your backside into her. How often do we see players there just watch the flight of the ball and end up underneath? Player comes over the top and rebounds. So what we're looking at here, coaches are just critiquing. Critiquing. Skill set package. So well done. Okay, last offense to white. Uh, sorry, black. Here you go. Nice back cut. Shots up. Find them. Good. Keep playing. Challenge. Okay, that's okay. Can you just come out with the ball here? And again, we're all here to critique and to help. Okay, so on your dribble, where did she put the ball for the first dribble? Lateral. Okay, challenge her. Here is a lateral penetration, doesn't create anything. Challenge her, can you get the ball near her lead foot? Push it in there, now what happens? She's, she's got to help. Okay, she's got to come and help. Direct penetration, not around the world stuff. Okay, all right, cool. Okay, now I want um, two guards down there with white there, black defenders and other forwards down here, centre line. Ball down there. Okay, so wider in offence, wider in offence. Uh, you're going to go this way, girls, so just, yep, that's it. Okay, this is just going to be an extension drill now. We're just looking at defensive adjustments with on-ball penetration, sliding and where you need to be in order to help defensively on on-ball penetration. So for the purpose of the drill, it's this. You're going to try and channel her to the sideline and keep her going down the court. So you're about 80% you're driving. Okay, channel, channel. Okay, hold it there. You're there, one step off the passing lane. Yep, in a nice little help position there. You should be on the split line. You're a fair way away. Now, here's the key. Often offences will be two guards front, so have penetration, etc. The only way you can stop middle penetration to help your teammate is to actually physically be on your teammate's inside shoulder. So your help position's there. What does that mean? That means when she puts her head up, the offensive, oh, there's already help. What often happens is, now in your own defensive strategies, it may be that you want this taken away. I get that. For the purpose of this drill, what I want is to make damn sure there is no middle penetration and our help player is on the inside shoulder of her teammate and there's nowhere for her to curl. Lateral, non-threatening pass, yep, we'll let that happen for the purpose of this drill, okay? So go back, you guys advance it, you're on split line. Then what, offense, once you can, you can have one lateral pass, so you'll drive, lateral pass, then try to get it down the lane and defense would just keep coming back, offense keep coming down and play four on four, okay? Off you go, channel it, channel it, talk it up. Okay, bring, hold it, bring it back, bring it back, bring it back. Now, for the purpose of the drill, don't let her have the sideline either, all right? <laughs> Take away. Now, the only way you can stop sideline penetration is to actually get your foot on the sideline. Only way you can stop baseline penetration, get your damn foot on the baseline. So you don't let it have sideline. All right, for the purpose of the drill, we want you to take it a few dribbles, kick it back, push it down the lane. Okay, where you go. On the inside, good, good. Close out. Okay, hold it there, hold it there. So again, you didn't quite get to her inside shoulder. She did that for you, you've got to do that for her. So just pass it over there. Don't go to the side where you were, quickly. You're on, okay, stop there. Okay, this pass comes to here. 
You see, closes out, you're channeling. Now you get on her inside shoulder. You're on split, you're sideline. Okay, build the D that way. Back again, one more time, then we'll switch. I'll let you play it out, girls. Way go. Good. There's a cross, get on the split. Good, good, good. Get there, get there, good. Okay, switch over, coming back, black coming this way. So again, this is just all concepts. Where do you need to be to stop the inside penetration down the middle? How far off can you be against your wing player here? Lots of talk, lots of help. Split line help, side line help. Okay, go. Good, get on the, good, good, good. Good talk. Okay, one more each. Now, who is defending that wing there? Once, once the ball's over your head, try to sprint to the line of the ball. Sprint to the line of the ball. Here we go. Good, split line. Back in, that's all right. Good work. Push the side line, take it away. Good. Good, split line, good talk. Find your D, good. Okay, hold it there, ball back here quickly. So again, concepts. Okay, you guys should be low split, high split. I'm sure you've all done that before. Ball's on the wing, low split, high split. Everyone got that concept there? Low split, high split on the weak side. Air time of the pass, challenge out, away you go. Low split, high split, let's go. Good. Okay, well done. All right, bring it up, girls. Okay, so just some concepts there where you're looking at, okay, how do you need to be, where do you need to be to prevent dribble pin pressure on the middle? Still have to close down the sideline, etc. Now we're going to give him a bit of an advantage, disadvantage about attacking a pass. So two guards down there to start with. Offence and D. Let's have a post player here, post player here, foul line. And a wing player. Uh, sorry, I only need six on this, so you two come out. Ball here, though. And just start about the foul line for me. Just start about the foul line. Okay. So conceptually now, what we're looking at is conceptually, we're, we're only going to, you can do this there, and if, coaches, if you can visualise this, starting from that side down, that side of the court, you can run two sides of the courts in this drill. Okay, so it's hedge and recover, rotate, and then shoot the gap. When I say shoot the gap, it means we're attacking the passing lane and not attacking the player. So post player I want here, offensive post player, white, yep, about here. Okay, and you're, gonna work, you're just going to work up and down the lane there as an offensive player, and you're on D, so you're a long way from here. Okay, purpose of here, what we're going to try and get our handler to do is to make her use, well, first of all, she's not going to let her get to the side of the split line, the only way you can stop penetration to that side of the floor is to make sure that your foot is closer to the split line than hers at all times. So your foot must be closer to the split line than hers. That's the only way you're going to stop her going that way. Okay? But you're going to channel her a bit. You're just going to work her over a little bit. Once she starts to get around to near the centre line, we're going to try and force her to stay one side. And you're going to hedge and recover, hedge and recover, we're going to try and force her to come to the sideline here and we'll try and trap. Okay, and again, this is a trial and error drill. Okay, so work her over a little bit, keep it, work her over a little bit, good. Push it back now, push it back now, ready? Okay, stop. Good, good, good. Okay, so we made that trap there. Now, what we want to do on this trap, and again, we tried to take that away. Obviously, this is a, what are you doing? Oh, I'm okay, I got my player. What about that one? We need a bit of help there. Okay, <laughs> no worries. So as soon as what you're doing is when you're here, come back a little bit before you trap. Yep. Okay, so as soon as she goes, you're like on a tandem. So she goes, then the next most obvious pass is going to be where do you reckon? Yep. Straight down there. Now, what we want to do is try to have get, allow her, your name? Azalea. Azalea. Want Azalea to have experience at trying to attack the pass. Don't attack this, attack the pass. On the pass, and we're going to try, and we're going to throw a little pass and see how it works. Um, 
Yeah, you let it pass it over your head, all right? <laughs> For the purpose of the drill, I just need a little bit of pass it over your head. All right, so just move in a little bit. So let's say the trap's there. So on this pass now, I want you to try to attack it. Now, you might be able to intercept it, or you may simply be able to, because who's going to rotate out of the trap? So who, who, who's going to rotate? How would you, which one would you have rotating out of the trap? The guard? The guard? Okay, anyone have this one rotate out of the trap down the lane? Either or, doesn't really matter. Why do you, why do you pick the guard? Yep, yep, yep. I'd, I'd go that way too. Good job. <laughs> We're the same, don't know anybody else. <laughs> so on this, okay, so I want you to go back a little bit. I want you to just come back and do a couple of dribbles. Let her dribble towards you and come up to trap. I want you to throw the pass, see if you can deflect it back in court. And you, you can pick, go and pick it up. Ready? Go. Yep, okay. <laughs> all right, intercept it. That's all right. All right. So quite often that's a lob pass, quite often what we'd look at is just her to flick it back in, you go, off you go. Okay, trial and error experience. But attack the pass, don't attack the body. It's too late. All right? So start down from the end again. Let's go. Talk it up. So you're going to, you, hold it. Your communication here. You're on your own, on your own, on your own. Go help, go help. You're hedging and recovering. So you may come back to her a little bit. If she's got her, if she's got her eyes up, you might hedge back. She drops her head, this is the handler. She drops her head, then you're hedging up again. All right, lots of talk. You're talking, you've got help, you've got help. Okay, and you're ready to attack that. Okay, let's go. Go trap it, trap it, trap it. Okay, that's good. All right, clearly we'd have split line over here, but very good, very good look. Okay, all right, so you can actually put another one in there. Okay, switch it over, switch it over. Now I want to see some definite of this player here. This could be about foul line extended though, yep. I want to see some definite hedging up and coming back. Get them to practice that, hedging up and coming back. Anticipatory skills. Have they got peripheral vision? Can they still see their player? Can they still be ready to hedge and go and trap that? Okay, you're talking as well. You're going to hedge both ways. You'd be a little bit in front of her and ready to go. Okay, off you go. Make a turn, make a turn. Go, go, go. Good, good. That's all right. Okay, for the purpose of the drill, you can't throw there. Messing up my drills. God, give me a bit of... <laughs> okay, here we go. Challenge, challenge, good. Good, get a head down, get a head down. Good, that's all right. Okay, so what did, what did you do? I was supposed to intercept it. Yep, okay, one more try. That's all right, that's good, that's good. You recognise that, that's terrific. All right. Okay, here we go. Make a turn, make a turn, go, go, go. That's all right, good try, that's all right. Just got to anticipate it a bit more. All right, okay. Let's now, um, we'll have another defender in on this post player on the low split. Just one defender on low split. For the purpose of the drill. Okay, uh, we'll have a, let's say a post player on that side. So wider on D again. Okay, now we can just bring that in. So now, you can hit either or. You can hit either the post. So what does that mean you're going to do? Okay, so you're, in, you're on D. So as we have the trap, she's going to leave here to go and shoot that gap. You've got to recognise that and come up. So you're going to be high split. You're working as a, on a piece of string here. As she goes, you go. Okay, so you've got your two options to feed down the line or the high post. Let's see how we go with that. You can just be off the block there, just, just so that she's got some concept of having a pl player. Okay, here we go. Good, good try, good work, good rotation. All right, switch over, black on offense. Okay, so again, hedge and recover, communication, you're talking to her, you're on split line. Just on this one here, I want you to make her turn a few times first. Okay, so take away the sideline, make a turn back, then turn it back again. Work on your skills. Here we go. Make a turn. Good. Now turn it back again. Turn it back. There we go. No, go, go, go. Good. Okay. Same concept. Take away the passing lanes. You'll always be ball side of the passing lane. Everyone okay with that? All right. Okay. Four on four again up here now, please. So again, that's just a one-sided drill. You can do it both sides of the floor with two, two groups. One more wide in, please. 
Okay, so we're going from a foul shot. So immediately after this, black, you're on D. Four defenders, white, you're an offense. Five offense, you're going that way. Advantage, disadvantage, move the ball. You cannot dribble white, there is no dribble until you are inside the three point line at that end. So, rule of thumb, one thing to remember, white. When the ball goes, so you've got, there's five of you, but you want to have, you're going to have four attacking the hell out of you because they know there's an, they've got a disadvantage. They're going to be coming at you. When the ball goes through the ring, even someone my size within three steps, I'm out of court. So as you take the ball out of the net, Where was my head? I'm already looking for my player, my teammate, all right? So five on four, no dribble until you get into the three-point line, and black, you're scrambling and making life hell for him. You ready? Okay, here we go. Good, okay. Switch it up, one more black in. So we'll switch, switch roles now, one white, step off. Rotate. Again, this is just a drill to get concepts of quick ball movement, quick passing. My, um, girls, we all know each other's names, don't we? I'm Jan, but I'm not playing, so just make sure you use your names. Call out your names. Okay, here we go. It's gonna be five on four. Good. Come on, move, move. Get it, get it. All right, go back to the foul shot again. That's okay. Lead to the ball. Are you available? Let's go. Good. Movement, movement. Come on, move. Cut. Nothing's changed. You're playing. You're playing. Keep playing. All right, switch over again. Okay, just hold the ball. What, what have we noticed since we've actually made it, they can't dribble, to the, what, what have we noticed about their approach to challenging and attacking? It's dropped off a bit, hasn't it? All right, it's dropped off a bit. There's not triple threat still. Girls, you're just playing the game. Okay, so you've got to challenge. All right, here we go. Good, good talk. There it is again, good. Yeah, good look. Well done, good job. Good, heads up, looking for the extra pass. Head down the floor, excellent stuff. Switch over again. Let's go, make the foul shot. Quick. <laughs> make that foul shot, here we go. That'll do, good. Use your voices, use your voices, move. Good, good. Nice cut, well done, good job, well done. Okay, good job. Okay, just hold it there, girls. All right, again, just an advantage, disadvantage drill, pretty simple to do. Take away some of the, what normally happens with, with young people, dribble, dribble, dribble. Take away the dribble mania, and now we've got heads up, we're looking down the floor, we're trying to find a teammate who's open. All right, the art of passing, finding the extra player. Okay, let's go um, on this one now. Uh, I think you're all in. We need six on each side of the, we've got six left. Six on each side of the floor. Black's over there, white's here. <coughs> white, you can start attacking this basket. So two blacks on D. So three on two from here. White's. So I'm sure you've all seen this drill before. So it's going to be once the ball has entered the three-point line or a player has entered the three-point line, the third defender comes in and it's three on three. Then from there, it'll be black that'll go three on three. As soon as a shot goes up, two whites, you're on three on two. The third white comes in once black have advanced the ball or a player 
into the three-point line. Third defender comes in. Okay, so we need lots of talk, lots of hustle. So advantage, disadvantage, three on two, into three on three. Okay, we'll have a look and talk about some of the things that we're seeing as they play it out. Okay, away you go. Let's go. Okay, go, go black, go black. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're, you're going that in. Yep, yep, yep. Ball or player in the three. You're in, you're in, you're in. Okay, white ball. White ball. Here we go, here we go. Yep, two down there. Keep moving. Okay, go. Third defender. Not yet. We'll, I'll, I'll bring that in now. Yeah. Okay, hold the balls there. Set up again, going attacking that way. Same, to, same groups. We'll just change it up now. Um, come back, come back the halfway through. offense. Third defender now can just come in as soon as any player is over the centre line. So as soon as offence is over the centre line, you're in to your three on three. As soon as there's a change, we defend back to the half. You want to okay with that? So you're going to so team that scores is going to defend back to the halfway. Okay, just to give it a bit more reality. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Good. Good, good channel, good job. Keep it there. Shots up. Okay, just hold it there, girls. Let's go back to, you had the ball over there. You, 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 black in offense, you were, you were trailing. You were over on that side, I think, at that stage. And you were coming down the floor first. Okay. Uh, no, someone was trailing on this side in the first offense. Okay, cool. All right, so this is what I saw. So you made, you made a, a cut, but you came straight down the lane. Right, so the ball was there, you were coming down here, into your flow of the three on two. Okay. So here's the thing. Had you cut, made your cut really hard to the basket, you would have drawn two straight away. And then she trails into your vacuum. All right. You came straight down the lane here and virtually matched up to another offensive defensive player. So girls, when you make a cut, cut with purpose. The purpose of your cut, can you get two people to defend you? To create space for someone behind. You could communicate and say, hey, go to the ball. She goes to the ball, you create that vacuum. Then if they close out hard to you, they come back. All right, let's run the three on three back that way from this end. Here we go. So again, coaches, make sure that when you're critiquing and having a look, how can we talk to them on the run and say, hey, listen, make a good cut there. Here we go, here we go. Nice pass. D it up, D it up, D it up. D, D. Good. Good. Good talk. Keep playing. Good work. Let's go. Get up, one more. Keep playing, keep playing. Ten, nine, eight.
Yeah, good, good cut. All right. Let's finish on, on a good offense, girls. Finish off on a good offense. Let's go. Here we go. Poise. Good. Good talk. Keep going. Good offense. I know you're getting tired. Let's finish off on a good one. Here we go. Last one. Good talk. Boys. Good girl. Rebounding play. Rebounding play. Good job. Okay. Good game, girls. Good job. Okay. All right. So, again, what did we notice in that? Rushed. Getting a bit tired. Okay. Not good on their leads. So again, we just need to break that down and make sure that they get together and recognise the situations that they have. All right? Um, let's all just thank these girls. Thanks very much, girls. <laughs> so just to finish off a couple of things, just on advantage, disadvantage drills are terrific. Okay? Give them the exposure to do that. Okay? Recognise that when we're playing that conceptually, that help D, everyone's got to be a communicator. How do you stop side-on penetration? How do you stop middle penetration? What does that look like? Where do they need to be? And then just the communication on it. All right, but there's a lot of those drills that you can just build on and build on, and you can add a defender in, you can add something else in, et cetera, et cetera. But that's, what we, that's our bread and butter, is to give these kids the experience that they need in order to develop their skill set package, and more importantly, to make their own decisions on that and become those anticipatory ones. All right? Okay, that's it for me. I've got a game to go to, so <laughs> go Opals. <laughs>